Good morning, Cigna. I'm Justine Burt, and here are today's top stories. Mobility International USA's brilliant and resilient photo exhibit has been touring Cigna offices. It features stories from women leaders with different disabilities. Here is an excerpt from one of those stories. I was born in a very remote, mountainous region of Nepal, where I lost both of my legs as a baby. When I was a young girl, I would use my hands to drag myself a long distance to reach the school every day. I remember thinking I would one day make use of the education and knowledge I was working so hard to gain. When I was just 17 years old, I launched my own NGO, the Hope Disability Center, in order to fulfill my dream. My NGO provides prosthetics, wheelchairs, hearing aids, and medical treatment for disabled people. We also provide scholarships for disabled girls. They should not have to climb hills and go on the rocky path as I did. If you'd like to host the exhibit, you can email info at MIUSA.org. Cigna employees across the United States were read last Friday to raise awareness of heart disease and stroke, which cause one in three deaths among women every year. With education and action, 80% of these events can be prevented. So learn the symptoms and make sure to get your preventive care checkups. Cigna's LGBT Colleague Resource Group hosted the REACT Forum to address employer opportunities and challenges associated with transgender participant needs and the U.S. Supreme Court marriage equality ruling. The event featured Cigna leaders Mike Phillips, Rosanna Duruthi, and more, and included panel discussions. Monday, February 8th was Chinese New Year, which is celebrated in many of our Cigna locations. 2016 is the year of the monkey, and those born in this zodiac sign are considered intelligent, quick-witted, and lively. We wish everybody celebrating this holiday a plentiful harvest, good fortune, and a happy new year. For today's sports, one of our Cigna health coaches, Antonio, talks about lifting weight to lose weight. What if I told you from the age of 25 to 40, you lose about 10% of your lean muscle? From 40 to 80, you lose about 40% of your lean muscle. Coincidentally, it becomes harder for you to lose weight as you get older. That lean muscle helps your body to burn more calories at rest during your normal everyday activities. Nice tone, defined look, focusing on light weights at a higher repetitions. So there you have it. That's how we lift weight to lose weight. Thanks, Antonio. And now for today's weather. Good morning, Cigna. It's Deanna Black. And Pamela Moore. And we're from the Plano Cigna Point location. And we've got a rainy, and rainy it's day. it's raining, it's raining. Wishing everybody a dry day. Thanks. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. This has been Justine Burt for Good Morning Cigna. Until next time.